Hello, everybody. Welcome to Drusifer's Idiocracy. Um, so I have some fun news for the beginning of this video. Super exciting. Um, I got some happy mail today from Patty Richardson. So um, I kind of ripped it up, pulling it out of the P.O. box. But um, I'm going to go ahead and open it. Are you guys ready? It says, hi there. <gasps> oh my God. It's Harry Potter stickers. Thank you so much, Patty. And it says, if this cheery little greeting adds some sunshine to your day, it's because that's what I wish for when I sent it on its way. And Patty says, hi, Drew. Sorry for missing your birthday. I'm sending some Harry Potter stickers. You can decorate items, <laughs> decorate items with London fog. Your friend, Patty. Oh, Patty, thank you so much. Oh my God, I know what I'm gonna do with these. I mean, I can give like the Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw and Slytherin ones away because I'm a Gryffindor. But, oh my God, that's so fun. Thank you. Um, and also, as you can probably see here in the lower bottom of the corner, here's Luna. She was napping, but I came over here and started setting up for my video. And she... Um, you know, got interested. So I thought I'd show Luna because it seems like everybody loves it whenever I include her. Let me scoot this down just a little bit. Nope, you still can't see her. I guess I have to lift my leg. There you go. There you go, Luna. There you go. Well, besides, um, well, I, I probably should have gotten this ready before I started the video, but I wanted to talk about my works in progress. Uh, or UFOs, whatever you want to call them. I mean, some of them are UFOs. Some are the things I'm actually working on. So I guess you can say um, um, whip and UFO for some of my projects. All right, I'll lift this back up. I can't see the top of my head. My hair is so tall today. Look at that. I need a haircut desperately. But, you know, they're closed because hair salons are not an essential service. So by the time this is all over, I'm going to look all shaggy and crazy. And um, luckily I trimmed my beard. I didn't trim it today, but I trimmed my beard down short so I won't look exactly like a homeless person. And there's nothing wrong with being homeless. I just don't um, want to look like I don't know how to groom myself. <laughs> Whoa, excuse me. That was... Ooh. So first up, I am working on... This Wonder Woman shawl, it's the very beginnings. You work from the bottom and it goes up. Um, I'm doing it in this green, which I'm using uh, Kartapu Bamboo Sakura. So I'm using this green. And this blue, because green and blue are my favorite colors. So I use a lot of blue, I buy a lot of blue. Um, I bought a bunch, that, that yarn that I bought from um, Hobium is a lot of blue. So um, a lot of it's for giveaways. So just like Crystal from Bag of Day Crochet, everybody used to get brown yarn, yarn that she likes. Well, you guys are going to all get colors that I like whenever I do giveaways. So I tried to diversify it, though. Not everything is blue or green, but... I would say more than half of it was. So I should be getting that any day now. I haven't uh, checked the updated um, um, information from DHL. Um, but as of this morning, it hadn't left in, um, in Stam uh, Istanbul, Turkey yet. So um, it says it should get here by the second. So let's hope that that rings true. Um, cause I'm really excited to show it off cause I got some really awesome stuff. Um, my other work in progress that I am actually working on, you've all seen it. I'm sure, but maybe you haven't cause I, I, I know not everybody comes to my lives whenever I actually am crocheting, but I have, Oh, come on, get untangled yarn, get untangled. Don't you hate it when it tangles? Oh. All right, it's going to be a baby blanket for my cousin, which hopefully she doesn't watch this because I share all my videos to Facebook. Um, but maybe if I do want her to see it so she knows I'm working on it because the baby was born February 20th. So um, Brock, um, 
is his name. Um, and uh, he's so cute. He is so, 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 so cute. My uncle, uh, my cousin's dad, is over the moon with him. Um, when we went to my grandmother's funeral, um, we had, like we looked he, like his phone was nothing but photos of the baby. I mean, like he, he was like scrolling, like you know, whenever you try to scroll through photos really fast. I mean, like he was scrolling through them, and it was just all pictures of Brock. Um, so these are my two main whips. Come on, get in there. Um, but there are other things. There are other things that I'm working on, and let me see if I can find some of them. It might take a second, so um. Oh, I can't play music. What can I do to help you guys pass the time while I did for them? You could... Oh, choose your favorite song. How about this? Choose your favorite song and sing it to yourself. So that way, so I don't get in trouble for copyright infringement on my YouTube channel. And I will move the camera so you can see Luna. Hi, Luna. Oop, that's gonna fall over. All right, she can't see anything, so. Huh. That's, nope. All right, gonna have to be, do it the difficult way. Oh, well here's one, I remember that. All right, found one. ridiculous like always oh so much yarn on top of this Ooh. all right let's see if we can find it without messing this up too much all right I won't have to mess this up too much it's it's gonna be an easy an easy thing to do here All right, there's another. Can I get that out without messing it up too much? Whoops. All right. I did it. Whoa, I thought that was going to fall over. I did it. I found them all. I thought I, oh, no, stay there, Luna. I thought I had a lot more than this in progress, but um, I guess I do not. So um, this isn't going to be the most exciting video, um, but I'll talk about stuff after this. That I'm not going to just show my works in progress. All right. One of these works, I'll do that one first. One of these works in progress is very in the beginning stages. Like I've barely started it. <laughs> um, I'm using this cupcake yarn. Look at the colors. Um, very pastel-y and such. And I'm gonna make a scarf for one of my friends from when I was in treatment. Uh, at Landmark, and it's going to be this little box pattern. Get that out of there. So it's pretty easy. I did it for a scarf that I ended up ripping out because um, after my hand injury, my my stitches didn't look the same, and I had done over half of the scarf before I um, um, went back to it after my hand injury was was better. And my stitches did not look the same. And I was so upset because I really wanted to do that scarf. It initially started as a friend, but for a friend, but I, we, he and I are no longer friends. So I was like, oh, I'll just make it for myself. Well, I had to rip the whole thing out and uh, start over, but I've just never started over because <laughs> I was so upset. I had so much, so much of it done. And um, I like to make my scarves long. Um, 
That's my thing with scarves. I like it to be thin and long. You'll see over here in just one second. Now the other, another one that I'm working on, I started this while I was in rehab and it's another corner of the corner. Oh, I didn't tell you what I was using for the yarn. Uh, for that, um, that first corner of the corner, the one that's for my cousin's baby, um, I'm using, um, Mandela, Mandela Peacock. Um, and for this, I'm using Karen Cakes, or Karen Latte Cakes. It's this really fuzzy material, but beware. I don't know if you can even find this anymore. They had a huge sale on it, um, uh, basically everywhere that it was sold, because I don't think it either didn't sell very well or there were lots of complaints about it. Um, because it shocks. Like, whenever you, like, wrap it around yourself, it goes... Tick, 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 all these little hairs do. So, I, um... Do you want down off the bed? So, I just... This was initially going to be the baby blanket. But then I decided after... I saw my how my mom's sounded when she wrapped it around herself. I was like, I do not want to shock my cousin's baby. That's the last thing that I want. So, I decided to make this for myself. And I bought a lot of, um, oh, Luna wants to get pet. She just, it was really cute. She did that little, let's see if she can do it again. Luna. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, she's a bossy little biatch. Aren't you? Aren't you? Yes. It's like, you know I'm trying to do something else. You know I'm trying to do something else, don't you? Oh, you thought you were going to get pet more. Can I have a kiss? Give me a kiss and I'll keep petting you. Thank you. It's like she knows that that means something. Because five times, or nine times out of ten, whenever I go to ask for a kiss, she goes... Don't you? I give so much love and you're so stingy in return. All right, let me wrap this up before it gets all tangled. Ooh. Next on, whoa, I just realized I was really close to that. Um, sorry, you got a close up of probably my forehead and my hair, which I'm really, like I said, it's really tall today. Oh, it's kind of naked right there. But yeah, I I desperately need a haircut. Cause look at this, look at this stuff on the sides. It's like poofing out. Don't like that. I like the sides to be like down to the skin. All right. Next up, I have a Gryffindor scarf, which I will probably never wear because the thought of having to sew in all these ends makes me sick to my stomach. Um, I'm using. Front posts and back posts alternating, so it's giving it this little ribbing-looking thing. Um, and I started making this because my friends and I were going to go on a Harry Potter um, bar crawl. It was called a wizarding bar crawl, but every, everything was like Harry Potter themed. So um, everyone could dress up in their robes and everything. So I made a, I made this scarf for it. Um, and I made a scarf for another girl who was going to go, but she backed out, and I made hers first. So it's like the week of, and I haven't completed this yet. I don't even know how long this is. Get up, Luna. We're gonna, you have to get up. Oh. oh, this is long enough. I think I'd want it to go longer. Or maybe I just was lazy and didn't sew in all the ends yet. Cause it, but it's still connected right there. So it's, it's still connected right there. So I either was going to keep going longer because I love long scarves. Like it's got to be long, thin and long. I just told you that. And I'm sure you were paying attention and you didn't need me to tell you again. The only thing is that it's not very soft. I used that impeccable yarn from Michael's. And what was the other one? Oh, I don't know what the other one is because it's just a ball. <laughs> um, I think think 
I think it was Red Heart. Well, I'll have to sew in all these ends because this definitely is long enough. But just, I hate sewing in ends. I hate it so much. And when I was making this, I didn't know about the Russian join or the Russian connect, whatever you want to call it, the invisible join. Um, and uh, that's what I've done ever since. And I've had a really easy time with it. I wish I had known about it when I started this because I've changed colors <laughs> like a bajillion times. So there's this. And I have one more that I'm working on. And I can't show you the pattern because I need to... Well, let me see if I can find it in my email. Sheba, guys. Okay. Okay, I have the pattern, and I'll show you what it's going to look like. I had to re-download it again, and I hope I can get this to my phone somehow without having to download it again to my phone, because that's one thing. With this pattern, it's so weird. You can only download it three times. How cheap is that? And it was $7.50 for the pattern. You think it would at least be like five or, you know, or be like normal people, and you can download it as many freaking times that you want to after you've paid for it. But whatever. I'm not mad. Stop saying I'm mad. Um, but anyways, let me show you what I have first. And then I'll show you the pattern. It's a, it's a sleeveless hooded vest. And um, this is what I have so far. Where am I in it? This is probably going to end up being the hood. I was going to have it be the back of it. Because I want it to be tighter than what it shows in the picture. But I think I made it too tight. So I'm gonna have to keep on going with the pattern and make this the hood because it's almost the dimensions of the hood in the pattern. And I am using Etrofill hand knitting yarns designed in Italy and I'm using their cashmere. This is 100% cashmere. And let me tell you what, this stuff is soft. I got this from Hobium, um, Hobium Yarns. Uh, basically, I mean, that's pretty much everything I, I get now is from Hobium. Like if, if it's, if it, or Hobie, sorry, Hobium or Hobie. If it's not from those, then it's some of my old yarn. <laughs> um, and not old yarn, just older. And there's, there, no, there's some newer stuff that I have that I have bought since I've been buying from Hobium. I got a bunch of uh, Peacock, uh, Mandela Peacock yarn um, from Walmart to, uh, make that afghan because originally the afghan that i'm using the baby or for the baby blanket was going to be for me um and i started it and i was about halfway two-thirds way through the skein and i got distracted by another project so um this is going to look like where's oh my closet's open you're getting to see all my clothes look at that all the clothes i never wear because i wear the same five shirts <laughs> But this is what the pattern's going to look like. Sleeveless hooded vest. I love vests and I love tank tops. And um, so that's a lot of what I wear, especially in the fall. That's Now, this isn't very fall colors, but it's my favorite color. It's, well, I mean, if I had to choose a favorite blue it would it it probably be, probably be like a light blue or like kind of like a teal light teal, um, like the like the bluish green blue, um, and because um, it's a mix of, between blue and green, so blue and green are my favorite colors. It just makes sense that I would really love teal. But this is that light baby blue. I don't know if you can tell in the. Let me see because it looks really dark from this side. There's my closet. So here we go. It's, it looks shiny, like it's shimmery in the video, but it's not. The, what's making the shimmer is probably the fuzz that's on it and my light is catching it. Um, so yeah, but so those are my works in progress. I, ooh, excuse me. Um, 
really have enjoyed working on them. I wish I could just complete one so I can move on to another one without feeling guilty. Like I'm just, you know, cheating on a project, you know, but like, Going around like to a CD hotel, taking one project into the room while the other project sits outside in a car with binoculars watching like, <gasps> you know, that's what I feel like whenever I do that. So, um, but this Wonder Woman shawl is a knit and crochet along for one of my crochet and knitting groups. And so I've never gotten to do one with them because usually they only do knitting ones. And this one was a knit or crochet one. It was the same pattern, but one was knit and one was crochet um, for that Wonder Woman shawl. Um, and I really wanted to do it in my two favorite colors instead of doing the Wonder Woman colors. And almost everybody is doing different colors. Uh, from what I've seen, about maybe 95% of the people are doing their own colors. Uh, I saw one girl work doing the actual colors, but most people are just having fun with it and doing whatever they want. So um, it's been um, um, sorry, I just sent, I sent I sent that pattern from my computer to my phone because uh, I didn't want to forget to do it. Um, brain fart, brain fart, brain fart. I forgot what I was talking about. God, I hate it when I do this. Uh, it was probably something about this and um, people's, they're looking really awesome. A lot of the knit ones are turning out really good, but apparently one girl did it crochet and hers looks really great. And I keep on messing up on this one. <laughs> and so it's not gonna look probably as good as hers. And I'm definitely not gonna win the crown, I'm, I'm sure. Cause um, if you, everyone puts in their photos from their project and someone outside the group picks their favorite. And um, which one they think they look, that looks best or whatever, whatever, whatever. And um, they, the winner gets this golden crown until the next knit or crochet along um, crowned person wins. So um, this one's been going on for a month and I still have one more month to complete it. I thought it was just a one month long one. So I gave up um, a couple weeks ago and um, they informed me that it's until the end of April. So I need to get cracking on this. And I was gonna do the large size, but I think I just decided I'm gonna do the small one because it's gonna go a lot quicker um, and probably take up less yarn too. Um, and I think no matter what, I'm gonna use two skeins of each because um, this is pretty feeling pretty empty and I've only done five and a half rows. So um, yeah. But it's going to look good. I know it will. It's just going to have this weird thing on this end because I miscounted my stitches on the foundation row. And I thought I had it right whenever I cut off the little tail that was created and just did a slip knot um, and so, uh, so, uh, weaved in the, the chain, um, the chain, the tail. And um, it's... Turns out that I was wrong and I needed like three extra stitches or something like that. I think it was three and I had about seven too five, maybe six, five or six too many. So if I had counted better, but I counted that thing like five times. So I don't know what, how the heck I got off, but I did. And so this is what we got now. So um, I just need to get back to it and it's kind of, it's not a difficult pattern, but you definitely have to count a lot and pay attention, which I've never been one that like likes to count and pay attention. I like to just do stuff that's kind of brainless. So um, this is a little bit of a harder pattern. Oh, I totally forgot to show off the yarns I'm gonna use for a pattern that I have planned. Um, I know some of you have seen it, but not all. I'm gonna use this Twirls Deluxe by Cotton Kings that I got from Hobie. Me so you can see the colors. Isn't that pretty? It's 1,094 yards um, and 93 yards. Sorry, 1,093 yards. It's 100% uh, cotton and it is 250 grams. And these right now are on sale until tonight from Hobie.com. So, and that's, but it's their time, like 
it's like 10 p.m. their time, so I better hurry up and get this on so you guys have a chance. But they're having a big sale right now. It's their spring sale, and um, this Twirls Deluxe is awesome. And they are on sale, I believe, for like $16 or $16.50. Um, their color bombs are on sale, too, which are the same base price as the Twirls Deluxe. But the color bombs, there's only four colors, but there's that one's 50% cotton, 50% acrylic. And they have a big rainbow one, which I'm super excited to hopefully get someday because I'm gay and I love rainbow shit. So, um, anyways, I, um, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm with this one, I'm going, oh, I gave the pattern to my mom. And I'm on my phone right here, so I can't take this away to show you the pattern, but it's a triangular scarf. Oh, wait, I can pull it up on my email. Never mind. All right, so this is the pattern. Once again, you get to see my messy closet of clothes I never wear. And is it, I'm trying to make this. There we go. It's a triangular scarf, and it's a little difficult in the beginning. It's It says intermediate, but I would venture to say it's a little bit harder than intermediate. Um, just because you have to really pay attention and get your count right. And, like, being off by one stitch, like, it makes it look like total crap. So, um, it's a little bit harder. You have to pay attention. Um, and I... Oops. There was more room over here. I need a drink of water. Just one second. Ah. London fog. Ooh. It was all up in my mouth. No dirty jokes, okay? And I know I said I was gonna, um, I was going to get a drink and I got my vape too, but you know, everybody be sure you're drinking plenty of water. Um, I saw a thing that said, even if the coronavirus germs are in your mouth, if you drink water often, it will go down into your stomach. And it will um, um, get digested and it won't infect you. So be sure to drink water often. Um, that's my little PSA. Like the more you know, like the little star with the trail behind it going over. On, what was it, NBC that does that? I think it's NBC. Or they, they used to. The more you know. Um, but anyways... Wow, this has been 27 minutes. Well, 28 minutes. Wow, I didn't think this was going to go this long. I thought for sure I was going to be like, okay, I'll show my whips for five minutes, and then I'm going to have to figure out something else to talk about. But I think this is really good. So I'm probably going to cut it off now um, after a tidbit of information. Um, make sure... I'm just... Trying to get the light. Nope. Nope. There we go. Um, I don't know if that's the exact same. It looks like I'm brighter now than I was whenever it was. Yeah. There we go. London Fog here on Z1077 with the Drusifer. Um, but, oh, make sure you check out my yarn giveaway video. It was two videos ago. It's for my 200, um, subscriber giveaway. Um, it's going until, um, April the 10th at midnight. And, um, everyone's free to enter. Uh, if you watch the video, all the rules are in there, um, of what to do. So make sure you watch it because there's rules. Um, don't just make a comment because you won't be entered. But anyways, um, make sure you check that out. If you can still, please like, share, and subscribe to all my videos. Or like and share all my videos. And be sure to subscribe as well. Um, I'd love to have you with us. Um, I'm pretty ridiculous. So if this is your first time watching, um, this was probably a pretty good grasp of my... Um, my... Um, 
I can't think of the right word. I was going to say affectation, but that makes it sound like I'm a, like something bad. It sounds negative. I am very affected. Um, <laughs> but that's neither here nor there. Um, my MO, my method of operation, I guess that's probably the best way. Uh, it doesn't sound negative. And um, yeah. But I guess you could call the stupid things that I do affectations. So I'll say both. Um, but anyways, um, please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next time on Drusifer's Idiocracy. Bye!